Today we're looking at a very powerful vector-based editor that works in the cloud and works on your Chromebooks. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now if you've used Adobe Illustrator before and you loved it, Graphic Designer is your powerful cloud alternative. Now go ahead and do a quick Google search for Graphic Designer or simply find the link in the description below. Now Graphic Designer is an alternative to Adobe Illustrator but what makes it so powerful is that it is working in the cloud, it works online and it works on Chromebooks, Mac devices, PCs, Linux, it does not matter and what's even better about it is it is completely free and extremely powerful so go ahead and click on use it online now that's the cloud version and that's the version I'm going to demonstrate to you today now the first thing you'll be asked is what's your design going to look like now you can use custom dimensions so your width and your height is up here you can select pixels millimeters centimeters anything you want now you can also select a4 now you have a drop down that allows you to choose any of these paper sizes you have different types of covers now a blog cover a graphic a website a full website and a Facebook Twitter etc cover now for the sake of this demonstration I am going to select the Facebook post and then after creating this post I am going to post it onto our Facebook page which is linked in the description below. Now this is your workspace. Now have a look at your workspace and you'll see a couple of items that seem familiar. Others will be completely new to you. Now don't worry there will be a couple of follow-up tutorials and I'm happy to do more tutorials, more in-depth tutorials about Gravit Designer. But for the sake of this demonstration we're going to keep it short, sweet, simple. I'm going to introduce the tool and if you would like more in-depth tutorials let me know in the comment section below. The first tool I'd like you to open up is the pen tool. So go ahead and select pen. And if you've used the pen tool before then you will be familiar with the way this works. Now once you click on your first point you can now change the joint. Now you can have a straight joint, you can have a mirror joint, a disconnected joint or a symmetrical joint. Now I'm going to leave a straight joint and I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now as you can see we have some guidelines there and there we go, this is my first shape. Now if I want to do anything to this shape, all I have to do is select my Select tool and I can now move my shape around my canvas. Now this will be a shape that acts as a shape, which means that I can change its appearance. Now when I select any of these individual corners, I can change the joint from a straight joint to a mirror joint and this will affect the way my shape forms. Now when I select all four and I turn them into mirror joints this will effectively turn my shape into an oval. I'm going to make sure I'm on the pointer and then I can move my shape around the canvas. Now double tap and the pointer changes into our select and this is where you can move your points. Let's go back into our regular pointer and we can now move the shape. Now let's go ahead and give this shape a fill color and then let's change the lines. So how do you do that? Well simple, under this menu you will find there is a border and a fill. Now the fill can be changed here, you can choose any of these colors, you can enter a hex code or you can simply use the select tool up here. And there we go. Now you can also change the border, so let's go with a thick five point border and let's leave it at black. And there we go. So what I would suggest is before we dive into anything more advanced is that you simply navigate to designer.graphit.io, have a play around, play with it, explore this very powerful alternative to Adobe Illustrator and if your students are searching for an Illustrator alternative on their Chromebooks, Gravit Designer is just a tool for them. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.